Hey everyone, I hope you're well today. So my name is Jason and welcome to my channel. So today we are going to be going through how you find your transaction history on Binance. So in my previous video I showed you how you could find your transaction history on the mobile. Um, but it's kind of limited so you can't download your statements and you need to go into each say spot or futures individually. Where here on the laptop you can actually go and you can pull them all together or you can indeed pull your statements which is much more helpful okay so let's get into the video today okay so the first thing you can do is go to binance.com and log in okay once you're there go over to where it says wallet there's two ways you can do this you can go to overview or you can go straight down to the bottom where it says transaction history so let's click on transaction history for the minute okay once we get in here so we have a number of options we can go and look at just our crypto, we can look at our fees, we can look at our transfers between wallets, we can look at our distribution. This is thing like um, interest from, say, stake, uh, locked staking, uh, BNB convert is how much you know you converted or how much you spent. Um, you can do them individually, you can look at how much you withdraw, uh, you can set the time period itself, so you can customize it, which is probably the best, in my opinion. You can look at individual assets if you want, so you can type them in here, or you can search through the drop-down um, status. This one you can look at either completed or pending. I only ever look at completed myself, so it's totally up to you. Um, so to generate the statements, first thing you need to do is you need to go right up here. Um, so let's click on it. So again, you can pick the time period you want, coin, all that, and then you click generate. Now, one thing I will say is you can only do this four times a month. And when you do do this, it says it can take an hour to run, but in my experience, it can take a lot longer than an hour. When you do get it and you download it, unfortunately, it comes out in a zip file type that you can't open. So let's just do it. So here's what I done yesterday. So let's download it. So it's downloading here. It's going to try and open it. So it's going to open it in Notepad and it's just going to be gobbledygook. So it's not going to work. So to get past this problem, what we need to do is we need to go to the Windows Store. Once we're in here, we need to go and we need to type in RAR. So once you're here, what I would do is I will go down right to where it says Zip Extractor Pro. Click on this. So we're going to install this tool and this tool will allow us to open us and we can open it and we can get it in excel which is nice and handy or csv and then we can see all our transactions so it might take a minute depending on your speed for some reason mine looks to be very slow at the minute okay so it'll just take a minute to install so once this opens we can select the, the file type it's a different type of zip file type okay so we can click launch we don't really need launch so let's download it again okay so download it and let's go open it this time and this time that we've done so it gives you that each time so we can or zip x this and we can see here it, it allowed us to open it so let's double click on it and now we can see it's actually a csv file so we can go open this save it as excel we can do what we want we can you know, edit it you know we can delete roles we can filter it out see our transactions um so that's in a nutshell i hope this was very helpful to you if it was please give the video a big thumbs up uh like and subscribe and if you have any questions drop them in the comments below and i will do my very best answer and have a lovely day